So right underneath where the neck is, we have some glands as well as some uh, blood and tissue that needs to be removed. So just removing this meat off, this meat lends itself very well to high heat um, grilling as well as marinating. It could also be used in grind. So we just trim this off along the lower part of the rib line. You could also do a roulade with this section of the belly. A lamb ketta would be delicious. Just taking this meat, removing the membrane, and then using that as a roulade. If you look here, the section that is dark red is differentiated from where the, uh, the rib bones end. And so the lowest part of that rib bone is connected only to the sternum by cartilage. The easiest way to remove that is to place your knife in between that connection. Lifting that up, you should be able to finish the cut by finding that separation in between the sternum and the highest rib. The meat on this can be used for trim, scrap, uh, or sausage meat. So we start by counting from the first rib down to the fourth rib. We cut straight down, making a radial cut. So that is prefabrication. The next thing you would want to do is remove the chine bone. In this case, the chine bone has already been removed. So on a rack that is still held together by the chine bone, the chine bone would be running right here. It would then be sawed off and removed, leaving us with this cut with the neck muscle, the lower part of the neck muscle still intact. If you had a bandsaw, you could cut the bones right here to make a nice even line. For a more natural cut, you go down to the lowest part of that larger muscle make a line, make an indentation in between each bone. Then you're going to cut along the back side of that bone. Careful not to cut in between the bones to finish the fabrication. Turn the cut towards you, peel back the membrane, if possible, with your fingertips. If this is too difficult to do, you can cut a little bit more of the cartilage away. And then with your fingertip tucked underneath the bone, Peel back the membrane like that. If you need to, you can also use the back of your knife. Once you've got that membrane released from those bones, the easiest way to finish this cut is to use your hands to hold the bones up. Go behind. This meat is usable for scrap. This section, after a little bit more trimming and fabrication, could be used for a shorter, more inexpensive version of the French rack.